If you've ever left your television on ABC, you've probably watched the show, What Would You Do? After many outrageous examples of what tend to be not too far-fetched scenarios to different Americans' realities, you watch with anticipation to witness the unsuspecting and clueless participants' reactions. While there may not be a clear and concise right or wrong answer, when it comes to the responses, an even bigger question unfolds. How did their actions affect others? In reality, we can all relate to times that we have been placed in scenarios that make us decide on a moment's notice, actions that not just affect our own lives, but impact those around us. And the best way for us to sometimes learn what to do is to rekindle the decisions of those before us. Dr. Levu Labruscu, even after surviving his own dreadful horror, would make the ultimate decision to determine a better future for his students. Levu Labruscu was a Holocaust survivor during World War II, as well as one to survive a totalitarian dictatorship in Romania. But on April 16, 2007, around the time of Jan Yom HaShoah, a Holocaust Remembrance Day, Labruscu would survive his, sacrifice his life to save the lives of his students during the mass shooting at Virginia Tech University. Levu Labruscu was unable to survive the Virginia Tech massacre when he barricaded the door with his body while he was shot five times. This allowed more than 20 of his students to have the time to escape safely, all but one through the classroom window while he encouraged them to make a swift exit. Levu Labruscu would receive many honors and recogni recognitions in remembrance of his life and for his brave act, including the Order of the Star of Romania, which is the highest honor to, to receive in Romania. Labruscu's act actions wouldn't just determine a better future for his students but also give those many youth a chance to be the future. And while his escape to America was from Romania would be for peace, his sacrifice would move the hearts of many to promote peace. In a speech given by President George W. Bush on April 18, 2007, following the shooting at the Holocaust Memorial Museum, he would state, that day we saw horror, but we also saw quiet acts of courage. We saw this courage in a teacher named Lavu Labruscu. With the gunman set to enter his class, this brave professor blocked the door with his body while his students fled to safety. On the day of remembrance, this Holocaust survivor gave his own life so that others may live. And this morning we honor his memory and we take strength from his example. When asked the question, what would you do? Dr. Levu Labruscu 